and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Caleb. And I'm Trent. And here's what we have for you on this week's SOMD Wire. If you're interested in helping the veterans, here's an event for you. As there are disabled and homeless veterans in Southern Maryland, and the Veterans Museum at Patriot Park is going to try and help as many of them as it can with a fundraiser event. The event will take place this Saturday from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., and the event location is at the Veterans Museum at Patriot Park in Charles County. COVID-19 cases are now declining across St. Mary's County. The County Health Officer, Dr. Mina Brewster, informed the County Commissioners this week on the 25th that the number of cases per 100,000 in a week has dropped from the 293 on the 14th of January to 133 on the 25th. Dr. Brewster states, we're hopeful it means we already peaked. Right. Congratulations to Barnhart Elementary School as they were awarded a national honor for providing support for English learning students in Charles County. Principal Brian King quotes, we pride ourselves on building relationships between the adults who work here and building great relationships with our students and with their parents and guardians. Barnhart Elementary is the third elementary school in the county to earn the award given to Title I schools that excel in either exceptional student performance, closing the achievement gap for excellence in serving special populations for students. Calvert County will be hosting the first ever Maryland Osprey and Nature Festival. This venue will be a family-friendly festival of education, conservation, and celebration, states the festival's CEO, Sal Acaza. This event will be held at Drum Point Club in Lesby on Saturday, April 2nd. Now turning to sports, in what proved to be a busy evening for some and a quiet night for others, the North Point High School wrestling team earned a pair of home victories on Tuesday evening in the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Triangular Meet. North Point opened the car by trouncing Great Mills 72-6 and later capped it by defeating Calvert 61-12. I thought our guys did a really good job tonight, said North Point wrestling coach Wilbur Leonard. We've been able to fill almost all of our weight classes and a couple of the guys had a chance to wrestle two matches tonight. Our goal each week is to keep improving and then aim for the team titles at SMAC and Regions and hope we have some wrestlers win SMAC individual titles and do well in Regions and States. Following a quick promising start to its first road conference game of the season, St. Mary's Riken High School girls basketball team suffered through two prolonged droughts and eventually ended up with the 55-50 setback at Elizabeth Seton High School in a Washington Catholic Athletic Conference contest, Wednesday, January 19th. St. Mary's Riken senior guard Kareen Pinckney opened the game by forcing a turnover, then going in for an uncontested layup. Less than a minute later, the Knights owned a 4-0 lead, but that would actually be their biggest advantage of the contest. When the Roadrunners countered with a 13-0 run, Sutton doggedly retained the lead over the last 25 minutes. We just fell too far behind, Pinkney said. I think we started off so fast that we might have taken them a little too lightly. I thought we played really good defense in the fourth quarter, but we just dug ourselves too big of a hole. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. We wanted to let you know that we are taking a break next week. It's a professional day for St. Mary's County Public Schools, so schools will be closed for students. SOMD Wire will return on Friday, February 11th, 2022. I'm Caleb. And I'm Trent. Signing off.